Just days after North and South Korea held their first face-to-face -face talks in two years, the U.S. Air Force is deploying stealth bombers to the Pacific. It comes at a time when the Pentagon is conducting a review of its nuclear forces expected to be released early next month. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin fills us in from the Pentagon. In a show of force, the Pentagon deployed three nuclear-capable B-2 stealth bombers along with 200 airmen to Guam overnight, closer to the Korean Peninsula. Defense officials said the deployment had been scheduled for months. I think when we move bombers across the globe, we send a signal to everyone. The B-2 is just one component of the nuclear triad slated for upgrade. The U.S. nuclear arsenal has not been modernized in decades. Its missiles date back to the 1970s. This week, details of the Pentagon's long-awaited nuclear posture review leaked to the public and revealed the Trump administration wants more flexibility to respond with nuclear weapons to an attack. The U.S. wants to develop a new low-yield tactical version of the Trident missile launched from submarines. John Wolfstall, an arms control expert who worked for President Obama, has read the plan and is alarmed. I think the document really goes off the rails by calling for the development of not one but two new types of nuclear weapons uh, that would be deployed both on submarines and on surface ships. Uh, it talks about wanting to increase the role of nuclear weapons, that the United States might use them not in fewer situations but in more situations. The idea is to make Russia think twice about using new land-based cruise missiles in Eastern Europe. The U.S. has accused Russia of violating the 1987 Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. Matthew Kronig is the author of the upcoming book, The Logic of American Nuclear Strategy. He says Russia is forcing the U.S.'s hand. Their plan is to use a number of small nuclear weapons early in the conflict to try to frighten us into backing down. And right now we don't have a good, good response to that. This is the first nuclear posture review in eight years. Past administrations all agree the nuclear triad needs to be modernized. What has experts concerned is that developing new tactical nukes is an expensive way to bargain with the Russians. Brett? Jennifer Griffin at the Pentagon. Jennifer, thank you.